Hey guys, in today's video we got two topics to cover, so let's get started. So, the first topic in today's video is some cool poster and picture ideas. So, first things first is if you're wanting a train picture, these are Tweetsie postcards. I just wanted some of these to hang up in my room. So, I got the postcards and then put them in these frames. And they look like a picture. They look just like a picture. And these are nice to put on your YouTube set. And and a uh here's and here's another one and then here's another one and then there's a tweetsy poster it's just a poster that you can buy at the tweets gift shop but one thing is the 611 which is in right now this is like a fashion clothes line this is in right now and what i i really need a camera person because this is hard but anyways I found this little packet at my local train shop, and inside of it, if you open, oh guys, don't put your money on the 611 because they've already raised enough money for it, but thank you, if you have, that's going to be great to see running one day, especially since we're in, I'm here in North Carolina. This is a big, nice picture that you just hang up easy with some some kind of tape. I should actually use my other double-sided tape. Anyways, back on topic. That's a very a really nice poster to keep. I'm gonna hang this up and setting that aside. I'm still trying to focus on the set. This part with a tear out, which this is the one where you donate money, but on the back you got a, another small 611 poster, which is nice. So I'm going to hang these up and I'll let you see them. There's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and, and put the second one up and I'll show you that one as well. Alright guys, welcome back. Yep, you know how I just showed you to do the 611 thing, so let's get, get to the review of the Toys R Us brand and wooden train number eight. Well, of course, this is a wood train, so they can't put too much detail in it. You have the nice magnets that hold, hold the coal car R, and the engine together, and the engine and this car, if you choose to pull it together. Now, let's start with the engine. I'm going to set this part aside. Well, for the engine, on the front, you have a gray smoke box. You have the headlight and this little mouse thing. I don't know what that is, but they always include that. Because I've gotten an old one of these, but I saw a new one because the other one was messed up. And this packaging for this one was messed up. But the other one had been messed up. So I decided these are so hard to buy, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. You also have some specifications, even though this is not a real steam engine. You have the specifications of 849-TRU, Toys R Us, I'm going to guess, dash 3, is the camera getting that? Um, dash 395. Okay. I need to get used to this. On the side, you have the yellow dome where the smoke comes out, the, s the chimney or the smokestack. You got the black front. You got this black area. And then you have this in some kind of steam valve. I don't know what, what one. I can't describe that one because I have no idea what they were intending for that piece to be. You got a nice... Nice stripe down here, the running board. You have the two wheel protectors. Uh, the nice boiler, de not great detail. Oh. And then on this side, the roof paint's kind of smeared, but it works. Because these are so rare to find. You got the, so rare to find, not so rare to find. And then you have the nice cab window, the nice numbers here. And you got the nice rivet detail. 
same for the other side. For a wood train, this looks pretty good. Let's move on to the tender. On the tender, you have the three wheels. You have a nice coal load. You also have a magnet there for picking this up. I don't know why you would want to pick this up, but I guess some people want to. You got the nice two grab rails here to get to the top of the tender. You have some nice spring tension detail down here. And then over here, rivet detail, the nice little V symbol. And then the same specifications on the locomotive. 849-TRU, which I'm guessing stands for Toys R Us. And then dash 395. Now for the car, or, or now that's a little pipe load. I'm gonna guess it's pipe because of the holes. It you can use this to pick up, which I could see why you want would want to do that with a magnetic crane. Cause you might want to transfer it to another car. I I already have everything that you see here, but it's old and wore down. So I purchased this one, and I'm gonna do a and I'm doing a review. You got the nice bump tech here as if they were separate types, which is very nice. And now you move on to the car over here. You got the nice red paint specifications to the car. That has the same logo. You got the stripe. I think that's a weight label. Mm -hmm. Another weight label. Some more specifications. More specifications. A weight label. A weight. Another weight la label. And more specifications. Inside it is hollow. Oh. And down here or on the wheels you got some nice... A spring tension detail over here, and you got your magnetic coupler. Here. Well, guys, this looks really good. I'm gonna leave you with a run by of this, and thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys. See you next time. Boop. Mm-hmm.